Hi, I'm John Byrne with Poets and Quants. I'm Sandy Kreisberg, the HBS guru. Welcome to another edition of Handicapping Your MBA Odds. Today's candidate is a 27-year-old female who has worked for the past four years in the nonprofit sector. She graduated from a top two small liberal arts college, maybe. And and what do you think that those are? I think it could be Williams. I think it could be Amherst. Uh, I'll defer defer to you. Or maybe one of the Claremont colleges on the West Coast. Uh, She took the GRE, uh, and her GRE score is the equivalent of a 730 uh, GMAT. She uh, wants to go to a lot of really good schools. Uh, On her target list are Columbia, NYU Stern, Yale, SOM, Wharton, MIT, Harvard, possibly Duke. What do you think of this candidate? Very consistent package. You've got someone who has a track record in nonprofits, has uh, she's she she describes her current work as uh, the manager in a national nonprofit organization. Yeah, okay, a, a lot of her outcome at elite schools is going to turn on the reputation of that nonprofit. Right. In other words, there's a totem pole of nonprofits, beginning with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, on, on, and, right. and and going down to I don't know what, but. You know, there's a totem pole there. So a lot of our outcome is going to depend on just what that place is. She, during college, uh, she's, she, she worked in uh, a lot of nonprofit stuff doing just what she's doing now. So it's right. a clear, consistent history. She's got the lingo. I mean, how, how does she describe? Okay, here's why I want to get an yeah. MBA. I don't think you could do better than this woman, Okay. I believe that nonprofits should be hubs of innovation with the best and brightest working to make the world a better place. That's a great line. Yeah. Come on, you couldn't do better than that, Sandy. Right. All right. right. By utilizing business principles and expertise gained from an MBA program, I can work to help bring innovation to the nonprofit sector and increase its impact. Business Good. school will give me the formal training I need okay. to be able to focus on bigger challenges. Yes. She's, she's really she's, true. She's got the wrap. She goes to a classy school. If she works for a classy nonprofit, she's she's got a, the equivalent of a 3.5. She's got a 730 GMAT, and track, she's got and track she's, record of promotion. And she's got the right attitude. She said in her write-up that she didn't have many quant courses, and she took right. stats yeah. like in person and got an A. So yeah. business schools like that. They go, this is the kind of person who can sit still who can absorb what we offer, can digest it, and can reposition it okay. back. Okay, You're saying that in a very polite way. Yes. Now, in my younger, more uh, radical days, I used to say what schools look for are people who can sit still, eat, and spit it back. Right. But she can do that, too. Indeed. So, Indeed. so f- from the... Admission from the adcom point of view, this is very attractive candidate. So, it, and she has a GRE. What, what do you generally think about that? Uh, GREs tend to come from non-traditional candidates. She is a non-traditional candidate. You think think schools uh, respect the, the GRE as much well, as GMATs? Yes and no. Uh, the probably. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do G, she she's a GRE type. Yeah, it well, totally let me follows. Say, nonprofit is not non-traditional. It's its own right. doorway. Yeah. Okay. But nonprofit, it kind of, I don't know why. It just has an affinity with GREs. Maybe she was thinking of going to school, you know, for social work or something like that. Public where you policy. need the GRE or public policy. Yeah. Right. So it makes sense there. Okay. Odds at Harvard. That's a tough one. 30 to 40 percent. Pretty good. That's pretty good for you. How about Wharton? 40 percent. This, this is the woman is solid. Yeah, no, she really is solid. Yeah. And MIT, same? Yeah, if MIT might, if she's the MIT type. Right. Uh, and, and, and they, there, there's an MIT type that is not purely techy and nerdy, you know. So if she's their type, they would like her. <laughs> and then she has down here Columbia. It, should she, if she really wants to go to Columbia, should she apply early 
decision. Everybody should apply early decisions. At Columbia. Yeah, all you do is lose $6,000. <laughs> well, that's not inconsequential for a not nonprofit for, for person. For her, <laughs> I, wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it unless she really wanted to go. Right. NYU Stern. She should get in there if she can convince them she wants to go and she wants to be in New York. and So NYU. 50% plus, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then uh, Yale SOM, which interesting. of course you know, Yale, is really interesting. Yale, this, Yale, you know, U.S. News still calls Yale number one for nonprofit management. Indeed. But, boy, I think they're a little behind the curve on that because they're mm -hmm. pivoting is the word. Mm -hmm. They're pivoting towards a more traditional program. So it could be a little harder there, but she's real solid. Okay. So what do you, what do you think of Yale SOM? 40, 50 percent. Okay. So... She's getting into a great school. She should. She's, she's, this is a totally consistent package. Okay, Ms. Nonprofit, congratulations. You are going to one of the best schools in the world for your MBA program. <laughs> this is John Byrne with Quants and Quants. May your MBA dreams come true.